In April 2025, Istanbul was rocked by a series of earthquakes, the biggest with a magnitude of 6.2. Earthquakes are part of Istanbul's history, and this latest one understandably alarmed inhabitants, but fortunately caused relatively little damage and no direct fatalities. But many people have feared much greater devastation, a major earthquake, a big one. Why is this so? What are the seismic hazards here? This short film looks at the issue and the tectonics of the region that drive the earthquakes. So here's Istanbul and the April 2025 earthquake epicenter along a major structure, the North Anatolian Fault. In 1999, the city of Izmit was devastated by a magnitude 7.4 earthquake, leaving over 17,000 dead. And a similar earthquake hit here in 1912, even causing a tsunami. So Istanbul sits in a so-called seismic gap between these historic fault ruptures. Many view Istanbul as overdue a magnitude 7 earthquake, a big one. Turkey, of course, is highly active seismically. These are those quakes bigger than magnitude 6. A devastating series of earthquakes hit southeast Turkey and adjacent Syria in February 2023, the largest measuring up to 7.8 and collectively killing over 55,000 people. But this was all on a different fault zone. Here's the Istanbul area and the North Anatolian fault. So let's step back and look at the tectonic setting for all these earthquakes. Istanbul lies within one of the world's great tectonic domains, the Alpine Himalayan belt of mountain building. In the region, it's driven by the convergence of the Arabian continent into Eurasia, forming fold belts and the mountains of the Zagros. But Turkey, Anatolia, is moving out, extruded to the west by this collision, bounded north and south by major fault zones. And the extrusion can be mapped by GPS time-lapse imaging, definitive evidence for tectonic displacements, and a more modern displacement mapping with ground coloured up for relative movement. The blue areas are moving westwards. So the North Anatolian Fault is one side of the extrusion, the East Anatolian the other, with Anatolia squirting west, the faults moving like this. The 1999 Izmit earthquake had this pattern of movement and the 2025 one near Istanbul had a very similar pattern. They both imply this sense of motion, so-called right lateral strike slip faulting. This is just what's expected from the geodetic measurements and the regional tectonics. But what about the earthquakes over time? This map shows the whole lot together so let's look at the history along the North Anatolian Fault as put together by Hussein and colleagues in the Comet project team. So, distance along the fault and this devastating earthquake in 1939 with lots of slip along the eastern end of the fault. A smaller earthquake in 1942, then a big patch of fault slipped in 1943 and 1944, 1951, 57, 67, and then 1999, the Izmit quakes. So, through a human lifetime, the North Anatolian Fault has unzipped from east to west. In 1999, it had unzipped as far as Izmit. And in 2025, it unzipped towards Istanbul seemingly connecting up with the 1912 earthquake. This unzipping behaviour is why a big earthquake has been expected near Istanbul. But was the 2025 earthquake the big one? It's hard to say. But perhaps the fault patterns in the Sea of Marmara 
will give us a clue. Is there a big through grain continuous fault structure, or are the faults short segments? The answer matters because big faults can have big earthquakes, so the necessary slip along the fault plane can happen. Small faults generally won't be long enough to experience big slips, and therefore are unlikely to have had big earthquakes. So what are the fault patterns below the Sea of Marmara? Well, there's no definitive answer. Yilmaz and colleagues put together a set of published ideas. Lots of different interpretations of the fault patterns in the basin. So there's no consensus if the North Anatolian Fault goes right through, or is it here represented by a bunch of short segments? Well, in April 2025, only a small patch of the fault moved. So maybe segments are the way. And this in turn impacts on forecasting the earthquakes. Of course, not forecasting when they might occur, but maybe how big the biggest ones might be. The April 2025 magnitude 6.2 earthquake is part of a lot of earthquakes then across Turkey and on the North Anatolian Fault. We understand the tectonic setting. We understand how earthquakes accumulate along the main strand of the North Anatolian Fault. But it's not clear whether Istanbul has dodged the big one, whether the April 2025 earthquake has bridged the seismic gap, or if a really large earthquake remains waiting to strike. These remain worrying times for the citizens of Istanbul.